Hello guys, today I just received the DDPi uh, hardware kit for my uh, DDPi Mola N3 dash cam. Let me just open this and show you what is there in this. So guys, this is a few steps that what we have got. Four types of few steps. One, two, three and four. And uh, this is one generic thing. And basically we would be using one among this few step. Uh, so it's a pair one for the vcc and one for the acc accessories for the cameras to be connected we are planning to put this fuse tap so it is two wires one red and one yellow and uh, we are having a multimeter so by which we will find out which fuse we should be removing so under the steering you see this box right this is a fuse box place you will have to hold here with one finger and one more finger with this end and try to pull it that comes away like that and this is your fuse box and uh, on this part you have a clip fixed over here you just have to pull the hook before finding which fuse number you will have to pull down uh, one thing what I see is we have this light on every time right I mean you can switch it on and switch it off irrespective of putting the key so what I'm planning I'm trying to find out which fuse goes into this uh, I want to see which is a fuse number so for that I'll use a manual let me search for fuse in this yeah so here it says page number 93 Let's directly go to page number 93. Yeah, so this diagram you see here, right? So this is our fuse box. Let's see the numbering. Yeah, you see this interior lighting. So fuse number 21. And let's see this diagram where is 21. So here you see, so from the left hand side, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth slot, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, this is a 15 amp uh, fuse, so let's recheck this, put it over here, and so before testing that let me test the connectivity between the body, when I touch it over here, it's showing some reading and it's making a beep so the connectivity is there so what i did i just wanted to test that uh, this black is properly touching the metal part let's put this into maybe this 20 position uh, this is a point and red one i will choose it on to this this is the one right fifth one for to freeze and check the reading so this is like around 12 watts without the key so this can be used for parking time connection so during parking time the camera would be on and doing a time lapse right so that wire you can insert it onto this all time it is on even without the key so we have chosen this blue color 15 amp uh, fuse what next use the fuse plucker that you got from the car itself just fix it like this press it pull it out yep so this is the fuse and i'm having this maybe this can fit in i think this is the specified connector yes it was Skoda. so this is somewhat matching though it's not pointed it's still matching so currently we are uh, putting it for the yellow one right now in this one i'll be inserting it into this the second slot that is away from the fuse uh, lid actually so it goes all the way inside the metal part is not seen it clicks nicely little tough but you have to press it inside and uh, the fuse what i removed now will be going into the first slot i just inserted both 
so it, it was actually little tight i had to remove the first one and uh, then put it both together okay this was one the light is on now so we have put it the right way nice intact and uh, let's just organize this wire properly so that it goes nicely back inside we have to see a perfect slot for this red fuse tap as well so for this the only difference is we will i mean we would be doing the same thing but the only difference now is that we just have to switch on the not the you don't have to switch on the vehicle but uh, the ignition switch should be on one turn so you have this light on now we'll see which is that fuse that works and we'll be inserting into that but let's use some common sense and look into the panel again i think four is doable multi-function steering wheel so that means this is a multi-function steering wheel so i'll choose the fuse for that probably okay from below one two three four so you see here one two three and four that's 7.5 so i just put the black of the multimeter over the body and uh, the red antigen hand and this is pointing to 20 let's hold this here the point what you see and see the reading it's 11.64 volt and the same thing i'll just switch this on switch the key off and do the same now the reading should not be coming it should be somewhere zero yeah so we'll use this this particular fuse for red wire so that whenever the in ignition is on the recording will start let's try to remove that put it onto this the closest point to the spin that's this one this is a fuse what i have fixed in but that has to go a little more inside you can see the metal part so what i will do is that i will be taking the other fuse the one that came with the hard wire kit and insert it into the second slot and press both together so that it goes nice and easy into that it would be a little hard actually so finally both has gone in nice and neat one two three and four that's the place from where we took Ah, you can see this i put it ultra for this so that i can take the wire through the other way around like this into the back panel we just have to test this connection if it is correct or not so what i do just put this into this and check what's the reading okay the key is turned off let me turn it on and you can see the reading so it's being tapped fine good now to root the wires we'll have to remove this section of it so i didn't have a tool right now so what i'm using i'm just using a spoon like this i'm not sure if it works seems like it is working yeah it worked kind of yes yes one more yes i think it is working yes we did finally you got with the spoon i kind of got the knack put the spoon inside like this okay slide it across try to pull this out and it just slips like this now try to put it from here yeah and there you got a grip now use your hands probably this, this is delicate and it has got a lock locking system in 
order to remove this, I will have to remove the seals first. Let me just pull this out. And let me use my tool. Go back and locate where the clippers. Locate the clip and uh, press it against. Right. Let me show you. Good. So here you see the clip. I just had to push this like this. It's really tough to remove this. So clip number one, two, and three. Uh, basically you have to remove this and only then uh, you will be able to remove the a pillar so a pillar one two three clips and you will have to slightly slide it up and uh, my first clip is intact second clip is intact and the third clip has actually broken i just need to fix it with the favicuc or something not sure if it works but still let's try that it doesn't matter because the first two clips are intact and uh, the base would be already held intact by the dashboard uh, insert so this shouldn't matter actually step is to insert i mean install this wire yeah so this is the wire that i'm going to install so starting from here so basically you'll have to fix your camera and then start installing this wire but i'm going the reverse way because i haven't delivered the camera yet so let me just measure some extra wire and then take it across finally after a lot of strain i put this wire from here it is being rooted over this uh, ceiling and from there it comes like this i'll be tucking it somewhere over here i just left extra nearly a six inch wire inside so that i have enough wire in case if i need to pull it somewhere for the side okay and uh, the wire has been rooted from here and you can see it's been taken from here like you see this and it goes all the way and from down it is coming like this and this is again been put inside to the fuse box and here you get two leads one red and uh, one yellow one is VCC and one is ACC uh, one is directly from the battery kind of thing and one is the accessory so those both would be going into these few steps and from the same cable there was another one more wire for ground so that i have just pulled it separately not into the fuse box from here i'll be taking it directly onto the screw maybe you can see it or not i'm not sure so there is a metal screw somewhere over here in this gap you see the screw right that one let me close this i just connected the red to red and uh, yellow to yellow and finally the wire has been installed what i've done i've taken it through this i just opened this panel over here and uh, taken it through that and i got this landed over here like this so there is a little bit of imperfection what i can do is later maybe remove this and cut a little bit uh, one mm gap over here and take it through and uh, yeah the wire has gone nice and neat so this i will have to close the a pillar but uh, before closing the a pillar i need to fix this with some heavy kick probably that might work not sure so we have fixed everything and uh, the washer or the beating has been put properly intact you just have to process it that's it and the only thing that was remaining is the a pillar uh, guard so what happened uh, so this particular clip uh, this third clip yeah you see over there that got broken uh, so when i say it's broken from the base here okay there is a crack and uh, here as well the same so what i did uh, last day i just fixed it with the uh, fevi kick uh, properly so now it is not shaking i think it is intact left it for drying for uh, around 24 hours and now we will be fixing this over there just stuck it over here 
over the edge as possibly and I have made use of this uh, bend and uh, masking tape over here while sliding this insert right make sure that it goes into this gap not the other side and uh, the other point that you have to see is that this goes nicely tucked inside this uh, rubber beading so this gap you see right it should be fitting into that so I just started with this edge I'll be pushing it more inside fitting this is not an easy task at all but uh, make sure that first you start with this insert this part of it properly second thing is that make sure that this liner is properly intact so the outer covering of this panel has to cover the metal part so basically what i mean is that so in case you keep a metal thing like this and you hit, try to hit it it shouldn't sound like a metal now it is actually sounding like it is hitting a rubber so this is correct okay and the other thing is that make sure that this panel right outer is going into this beading this is not outside the beading it's actually getting inserted into the beading and uh, proceed properly intact this i got the right tool uh, the right torx and here is the screw i'm not sure if you can see it on the camera so move here you see it right this way so i just loosened a bit just loosened it up and i'll be i didn't remove it completely either. i'll be inserting this and then tightening it off you can see that i just picked it now so i just tightened the screw after it. so basically you just need to loosen this screw then uh, fix this or plug this into the behind the screw's head and just tighten the screw that's it it's a torx uh, screw actually and uh, let me tuck in these wires behind this neatly and uh, we are done with our wiring tucked inside uh, now you know the process right uh, here is the fuse box just behind the steering uh, just beneath the steering column uh, you just need to uh, put in two fuse tabs one for the direct connection from the battery and other one from the accessory so for this basically you will be seeing the manual of your particular car to get to know which fuse you will have to remove and uh, the negative or the ground has been fixed over here onto a screw uh, before that make sure that this screw is actually grounded okay so i just check this and this screw is actually grounded to the body so i just uh, fix that uh, ground wire over here and uh, we have routed the wire via this space we had to open this we had to open the beading we also had to open this casing and the wire was routed through this channel and uh, just beneath the roof lining we have taken it over here and we happen to remove this to remove this you just have to press this uh, properly inside and then pull it out and same thing with the base as well and from this i routed the wire and it comes through this particular panel comes out like this and of course you will be plugging your camera over here and plug in this cable that's it we are done with the wiring